Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss how to make a uh, API call to detect an intent. Okay, so this is a continuation to the previous uh, API call video that I have made. Uh, the previous one was for knowledge base and this time it will be uh, directly the detect intent. Uh, please go through that video because there are authentication steps which are required uh, using uh, gcloud commands, right? Uh, which I am not going to show in this one. And this one is just to sh uh, show how we can detect an intent directly via API and what exactly the code for that, right? So if you see over here, uh, I'm using Node.js over here, uh, uh, beta version uh, v2. You can use the v2 also and v1 also, right? So the code doesn't change over there. Uh, so what we are doing over here, so let me do a quick demo that how it will be. So when I say hi, right? Uh, this is my bot which i have created uh, read the manual uh, again you have to go to the series of videos to understand where we are right now okay so if you see over here uh, when i say hi when you just say hi uh, the bot returns something like this one okay now what we are doing over here in the code side so we are getting the project id uh, so project id is nothing but if you see over here you can find the project ID from the URL or if you go to your settings, uh, you will see the project ID, okay? Now, uh, we are passing the language and session ID can be a, a random thing uh, that you can pass of any character or of any length, I think 36 is the maximum length, okay? Now what we are doing is we are creating a session path where the project ID and session ID is mentioned and then what we are doing is passing just the intent or oh sorry users utterance or user input as hi right that is what we did over here uh, when we said hide right and the language code which we are passing so right now our bot only support english the us so by default it is e in us okay so that we are using if your bot supports more than one language then you can pass that language over here to detect the that particular intent uh, or that particular language intent okay uh, so yeah all done the ones get detected get the response back we are getting the fulfillment text and what is the fulfillment text if i go back to my intent uh, the text response that you give that is known as uh, fulfillment text so what i will do uh, i will run this one okay so as you can see i have already tested this one uh, once it get back the response from the UI so you see this is the output that we have received and this is a similar one that we have in the UI okay so this is how we can detect intent also you can use the session to uh, as a constant so that if you want to continue the journey through the API, you have to make the session as uh, same, right? Right now, for every time we are making uh, the session ID as different, but if you want to continue the conversation, then you have to use the same session ID. Okay, so the code uh, is uploaded into the GitHub. You can check the comment section to get the code and also how to if you're getting errors like it is not authenticated and all this thing uh, while running this code then you have to go to the version or the video number 6.1 uh, which is also i have mentioned in the comment section to understand how to do the uh, what do you say authentication setup or the google cloud credential setup uh, that you have need to make this particular code working hopefully you like this video thank you